Hi, my name is William. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up radial menus with a script I recently found. The name of the script is the radial menu editor by the creator Little Scripts. I will put the link in the description. To know how to install it, I recommend watching the creator's video. Here, however, I would like to show you how to create your own radials. So first you want to go to the Plasticity website and just download the two provided radials. Here we are now in Plasticity. I also opened the radial menu editor and the folder. Here you can see the two radials I downloaded before and they are also visible in the radial menu editor. If you want to use your radials, go to Plasticity and press the F key and type in radial. And this uh, makes your radius appear here in, this, in the search area. And in my case, I just set up my my shortcuts but you can of course change them for example change the shortcut and change it to to u and you can see that uh, after i type in u my radial will open and here are the different menus um, tools and same for the um, R for the second uh, radial. We have more options in the editor. For example, if you press the delete button, you can directly delete the corresponding JSON file in the plasticity folder. This is the edit button. With the edit button, you can open a second window, and in this window, you can see your radial in detail. We have six slots and we can add more slots, up to 12 slots, but it is really confusing, I think. So I will remove them, but just for, for your information, there are up to 12 slots available I will go back to six and yeah you can change the the corresponding tool you 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 want these are all tools in plasticity and just just select one of your tools and in this case we changed it to file open but I can also continue and make a duplicate. And if I save this and close it, now my JSON file is updated. I can open the JSON file and you can see this, that we have now file open and we have duplicate. Let's search for the new updated radial menu just press the f key and search for type in radial and here we go we have the new updated version of the radial menu viewport port settings we have still the shortcut m assigned so if i press the m key we should have the new updated version with duplicate and open let's assign another tool we go back to the radial menu editor and press the edit button let's add a new slot change the tool let's uh, we'll choose unjoin and after that i will save and close it go back to Plasticity, press the M button 
you see there's still the old version but if i restart it let's see if this changed something press end again and here we go we have now the updated version with seven slots and unjoin now let's create a complete new radial menu from scratch i will press the new radial menu button this will open a new window here i can select a name i will call it radial menu sketch because i want to create a radial menu with some sketching tools and i will add some new slots and yes and here i can search for the for the tools i will select the trim tool the untrim tool the command line and the command circle center circle for example and after that i will save and close my new created radio menu and as you can see we just created the new radial menu sketch and if i click on refresh we have this new radial menu sketch visible and available we can go back and edit it for example we can add one more slot and i can search for the center box and yes save and close again so after that we can go back to plasticity i can restart plasticity just because it's better and then we can press the f key search for radial menu and we have here the radial menu sketch i will assign a new shortcut in this case s for sketch and let's try it out here is my radial menu nice let's try it out i will create a sketch with the for example the circle or a line and let's try the trim button and here we go another line so that's the end of the tutorial i hope it is helpful i hope my english wasn't too bad and i'm happy about a like or a subscription see you soon